Thank you so much for installing Reorder Master. I'm Tarek from Halcaps and I'm gonna explain to you today how to set it up in a few easy steps. This is an example on our account page. We see our order history and these are the buttons that we are gonna configure. So you see we have two items here and we have two options, add to cart and reorder checkout. We also can add some notes here for our merchant. Then if you go to the direct order, we have reorder now button again placed with the same principle of two items in the cart with add to cart and reorder checkout. Let's click on add to cart. You see both items are now in our cart and we can proceed to checkout. Let's see how we did it. After installing our app, you will see our dashboard. There are a few easy steps on how we can set up our app. Firstly, we have team integration. We will click on the team that we are using. We are using Dawn and we'll just click on add snippets. The second step is to enable the app and we will just click on the enable button. And the last step is to customize our app in our settings. So we'll click on go to settings. Here we see that our app is enabled. On the settings page, we have a few different options. Firstly, we have order summary, and this is where our button is placed on the order summary. Here we have a couple of customization options, for instance, button text. Let's change it to reorder now. We can change the button radius, padding, font size, as well as the background text and border colors. Let's pick light blue. And click on save. Our second option is order form. On the order form we have display type for icons, currently we are using an icon, but we can change into a button as well. Also we can upload a custom icon from our images. Again we can change the background text and border color. Click on save. The last two options we have reorder offer and pop-up view. Reorder offer is to tell our customers that we have an offer going on and pop-up view which can be added here as well. Same customization settings as before. Lastly, if we do not want to use any of these options mentioned, we can disable or enable them here. For this example, let's enable order detail page and order listing. Offer message will put out disabled. So we're gonna click on save. We have two more tabs. Language settings is where you can edit your language. English is by default and also you have the preview of every section that is presentable. Lastly, we have email settings. On email settings, you can edit precisely what do you want to be previewed in your email. You have the preview and also you can send a test email to yourself just to see how it will look for your customers. There's also a selection of time when the email will be sent out. Here we have 7 days. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact our customer support team. Bye.